Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. I have just spent the last five days um, reflecting back on 2020 and setting intentions for 2021. And it's got me thinking, um, and what I'd like to share with you today is, I guess, the greatest lessons that I've personally learned from 2020. And as I sat here and thought about it before making this little episode, I realised that there's a lot <laughs> that's happened in the last year. It's been a very peculiar year and very unique in, its, in so many ways. But I think the greatest lessons that I personally learned in the last year was around fear and just how totally debilitating and all-consuming fear can be and how, by, and how we have a choice about buying into it and spreading it and fanning the flames of fear or of stepping out completely and choosing to be present and reset and choose our own way. And if we buy into fear, then we react from, well, we react, we come from a place of reaction rather than conscious creation. We, 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 we sort of become an automated version of ourselves. We're no longer creating a life that we, we'd love to live. We end up living in a life that becomes smaller, more confined, more restricted. It's quite strange, um, quite early on in the whole pandemic, I decided not to watch too much of the news. Um, I adhered to all of the regulations, but I didn't want to feel that sort of completely all-consuming fear that was being pumped out all the time. And whilst I still lived a very sort of isolated life like most of us have done over the last year, I still had immense freedom. Um, I had freedom to be me. I had freedom to connect online. I never felt like I was isolated. I never felt like I wasn't part of the wider world. And I think that's because I chose not to be ruled by fear. I didn't feel deprived. I always felt that I was in control, or control's the wrong word, but that I was the creator of my experience of life. And part of that is the second thing that I've learned a lot about this year. And that for me was about gratitude and appreciation. And just recently, um, I, I realised, I suppose, I refocused on it. So about a year and a half ago, I started a gratitude group. And it made me really realise the true power of gratitude. And that by choosing to focus on gratitude on a daily basis, because I had to connect with this group and share five new things every day, it meant that I trained my brain so that when I sort of went about my daily business, I was constantly looking for things to be grateful for. And it became so that my mind would just seek them out without me consciously trying to do it anymore. And then as things happen in life, other things took over. And although I was doing it, I wasn't paying it as much attention. And then just recently, I realized that I had sort of become desensitized to all of the things that I really love in my life. And just by reconnecting to those things, it suddenly brings so much joy and happiness. Um, and it's silly things, things like I'm so grateful for where I live, for the home I have, for the fact I can step out of my door and just walk in the countryside. And it was weird because I was constantly focusing on different things every day. I didn't realise that actually connecting to the same things every day with great gratitude and an open heart is equally as powerful. And Stepping on from that, and recently I've just done a few um, episodes on this, is about appreciation. And I think that's the thing, the most deepest insight that I've had, well, one of the most deepest insights I've had this year, is how by focusing on anything with appreciation, it suddenly almost transforms into something quite amazing and magical. S silly things. <laughs> I was sat once in the sunshine in a field, and for some reason, I had partially closed my eyes and I suddenly caught, I just suddenly saw my eyelashes. And this is going to sound very strange. So I suddenly saw my eyelashes and the sunlight was streaming through my eyelashes. And the more I focused on them, the more I could see rainbows sort of in, in what I was seeing. 
And the more I focused on the rainbows, I saw more depth and more depth and more depth. And it just made me realise how when we stop for a moment and we focus on anything, it really can be anything. And we sit there with choosing to focus on it with appreciation. We suddenly see so much more of it and we become one with it. There's almost a connecting of energy and stillness and sharing space and time with something. So I think from this year, those are the two things that I'm really going to walk away with. One is understanding how fear can totally infiltrate our lives if we allow it to, and that we have a choice about whether to stand in fear or whether to step out of it and be free, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. And the second thing for me is about how important gratitude is, but taking it a step further into appreciation and how just sharing time and space with something, anything, can be an incredibly magical experience. Um, there's a lot more, <laughs> but I think for the point of this video, that will suffice. And I would really, truly love to hear from you. What are your two things that you're going to walk away with from 2020? I hope that this year has not been too trying and too challenging. I hope you've managed to surf the waves and enjoy some of it. If you'd like to access any more of my resources, um, I've got courses and I do coaching and various other things. You can see all the links to that on in the show notes below. Wishing you a fabulous 2021 and a very festive new year. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.